Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. We've got some very big news for you this week. The Stop the Meter petition, where Canadians took a stand against big telecom price gouging, has hit not 5,000, not 200,000, but 500,000, half a million supporters! Woo! Thank you all so much for the time and effort that you spent getting educated, spreading the word, and taking action. Um, we know that the Stop the Meter campaign uh, left the media spotlight a long time ago, but the pro-internet community is staying strong, and we're still seeing hundreds of signatures each week. Thanks to you, we've made change, we've, uh, we've affected politics, we've affected policy, uh, and we're looking forward to the results of the CRTC's hearing. In other news, in the case of Gamers vs. Rogers, where Rogers was caught restricting access to online choice, the CRTC has decided to move the case to its enforcement department, uh, though they don't have very strong rules surrounding net neutrality and we are a little bit concerned that Rogers is going to get off light. We do have high hopes, we're cautiously optimistic, that Rogers will be penalized enough to realize that internet openness does matter to Canadians. At the same time, we had some meetings in Ottawa with MPs. Our very own Glenn Lewis sat down with eight Conservative MPs to discuss the digital economy and our action plan for a connected Canada. We discussed the recommendations in our report, Casting an Open Net, uh, and reported back to you in a live chat, which you can still find archived at openmedia.ca slash chat. In the chat, Glenn also slipped in that you can encourage your MP to meet with us and to read our report by visiting openmedia.ca slash report and sending a message. In Stop Online Spying News, the Federal Privacy Commissioner has sent yet another open letter to Public Safety Minister Vic Taves condemning the bills, calling them warrantless, invasive, costly, and poorly thought out. The Ontario Privacy Commissioner echoed her letter uh, in another open letter to Taves, as well as in an op-ed that she penned for the National Post. That is your weekly news update for this week. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Lindsay Pinto. I'm with openmedia.ca. On behalf of everyone, thank you again. And please do continue to sign, share, spread the word about the pro-internet community.